And so now we're going to welcome up a friend of ours, a um, young man called Tacconi, who's been doing a gap year at his local church in Nottingham. He's also been serving alongside us at the DTI team. He's a, he's a wonderful young man, become a friend of mine this year. And he's a, he's, he's a great guy. And I, guys, at DTI, we're passionate about the Bible. We're passionate about the Word of God. And I want to ask Tacconi a little bit about his life and how he connects with the Word of God and how he connects with God through God's Word. And so, but first up, I want to just ask you a couple of questions, Tacconi. And um, so how have you grown as a disciple of Jesus, particularly this year? Well, yeah, man, it's, uh, it's been a great year, to be honest. I've had a lot of fun with our church back home, Trent Vineyard. I know they're over there somewhere. Uh, a very loud group of people, as you can tell. Um, but it's been a really good opportunity. If it's been real intentionality about us getting into the Word of God. What is it saying? What is it saying to us? And how can we learn from it? It's also been a real focus on how can we serve? What does it look like to be a servant, both in the seen action and the unseen? And I've been learning a lot because we're really, it's really good to be surrounded by so many people that are so invested in, in seeing us grow, seeing me grow, and when I make mistakes and, and when things don't go the way they're meant to, uh, having people that want to prune and, and point them out uh, without fear and without judgment. It's good, yeah, it's great, great, man. Sometimes being a disciple of Jesus, it's the, the harder conversations that aren't always easy, but iron sharpens iron, which is, is so important. And so I know many young people here, maybe youth leaders might find it really hard to get into the Bible. And so tell us a little bit about how you've done that in your life, how you get into the Bible. What are some of the daily practices, that kind of stuff? Yeah, I mean, I definitely agree with that, yeah. That reading the Bible for anyone of any age can be a difficult thing to do, difficult thing to get into. But first thing, one thing I definitely say is do it with someone. Um, have someone that you're accountable to when you're reading the Bible, someone that preferably someone further down the road in their Bible reading journey so that you have someone that you can share. What is God saying to you? They can prompt you on that sort of stuff. So that's what I'd say firstly. And secondly, I'd say when you actually go to the Bible, when you're taking a look at it and trying to figure out what God's saying to you, always go with the expectation to have your worldview changed, your mind changed about what you believe. Uh, because sometimes we can go to the book, we can go to the Bible thinking, okay, I know what I believe, I know what I already think, and I'm not going to be changed at all. Uh, but if we believe that the words in there are God-breathed, and he says that in Timothy, um, then it has to change my mind because it's from him um, and it's not about me. And that's what worship looks like. Man, it's great. And do you have like a personal time that you meet with God in the morning or you read the Bible or in the evening or tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, man. So um, I, I like to start and end my day uh, really specifically carving out some time to read my Bible. Um, so in the morning I'll start, I'll worship um, and then I'll read something specific, something that I've planned out, uh, whether that's a Bible plan or uh, whether that's a, a, a reading from a Bible in the year section, I'll do that. Uh, and then in the day, I'll read based on where I feel led. And then at the end of the day, based on what, what's happened in the day, I'll come, I'll come to a conclusion with something I feel like God's been saying or, or somewhere I feel like this is where he's leading me to. I'll read that, pray on that, and then go into the next day. Great, it's great. And finally, uh, when I was chatting to Coney, with Tacconi this year, he was telling me about how his family have this practice as a family, like how they connect with God together and how that's developed stuff in you. But tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, um, I've been yeah I've been blessed to come from a family where devotional time together is really valued. Um, so so the way that kind of looks like for us is, is family devotional time, and it's looked like that from I can't remember how long ago, but from night time before bed, something we do is uh, we gather together, we'd pray, um, we'd worship, and then we'd read the Bible um, and just see what God is saying to that. And I think in that the one question that's really got me into the Bible with that is. Uh, we'd always be asked, what, is, what have you learned? Not what happened, what have you learned from what you've read, uh, which is majorly important. And I think the thing that that did for me um, uh, as I come out and as I almost developed my own intentionality with reading the Bible, what does it look like to hear from God? Because it's made me realize it isn't just when it's stuffed away, because um, stuffed away at nighttime in that setting, but throughout our days, our whole lives are worship. Um, so in the, in the coming and going, the way I act, the way I talk to people, that's also worship. So it's keeping the book close to my heart. Um, and we've been looking at life to the full this week. And I think when you do that, when your whole life is faced directly at God, um, that, is, that is where the life to the full is, is where, where we're devoted to reading the Bible, where we're worshiping all the time, praying without ceasing. And, and that's where the life to the full from relationship with the Father, uh, walking the way the Son did, and, and living prompted by the Spirit. Oh, 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 oh,